All right, it was reports that Jerry Goff struggled in practice yesterday, man. So let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate everybody for tapping in. We're going to do three videos today. We went live yesterday, I believe. Was it yesterday? Yep. Check out the Piston Live. Pistons be opening up against, uh, Pistons will be opening up against, uh, Chicago Bulls October 20th. Okay. Um, the, uh, the actual NBA, the actual NBA uh, uh, opener will be October 19th, 7.30, ring night for the Bucks. They'll be taking on the Brooklyn Nets at home, right? Then it's uh second game is the Los Angeles Lake. Well, the Warriors traveling to the Los Angeles Lakers at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, um, that'll be that. So, they say uh, Detroit Lions training camp, day 16 observation, another tough day for for Jared Goff. Now, you know what's so funny? Free press make you pay for uh the free press makes you pay for uh they makes you they make you pay for uh this information. So they talking about we pay a dollar six whatever it is, man. I'm, like, I'm not about to pay for that when I can just on Google swipe over and get the same fucking information. So I don't know who free press good idea is to pay people to read these articles. But it says Detroit Lions strapped up the pass for another full day of practice. On Thursday night, the lack of crowd certainly gave the environment a different feel to it, but the intensity was still high. With this being the final day, uh, final practice before Saturday's preseason game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, there were no room for uh, no room for a day off. And considering training camp is winding down, this was one of the few fully padded, uh, full contact days of practice left on the schedule. Here's my observation from day 16, training camp. Right? Uh, let me talk about the other stuff too. Uh, Jared Goff struggles again. It was a practice to forgive for Jared Goff in the first team offense during team periods. Goff threw two interceptions, two passes that were certainly nearly intercepted and failed to find the end zone. Failed to find the end zone even, even once. On the first near interception, Goff was throwing a quick out, but it did not. But did not notice Amari Roy sitting in his zone. The third year corner jumped the route but dropped the easy pick. A couple of plays later, Goff was intercepted. When the Lions sent the blitz from both sides of the nickel of the line, excuse me, nickel, Nicole, Nickel, Roby, Coleman, and Jerry Jacobs came on the opposite sides untouched and forced the hurried throw from Goff again. Goff completely missed the defender. Jamie Collins who stepped in front of a cross right intended for Saint Amon Ross St. Brown. The next set of drills in the red zone on one play. Goff couldn't find anyone open roll to his right and then forced the ball in the coverage. Jeff Okuda broke the pass up and it bounced high up in the air. Tracy Walker came down with it, but appeared to be out of bounds. Just a play or two later, golf pass was deflected by Austin Bryant at the line and picked off by Charles Harris. The best defensive line, uh, offensive driver of the day, came in the end of practice. Offense had a full length of field to go uh, with a minute and 38. And down four, golf went for, for a seven, not including the spike. He hit TJ Hawkinson twice on short games, found DeAndre Swift with a nice angle. Uh, route hit Jamal Williams wide open crosser, but then he came down to the final two players in Lions office couldn't make anything happen. Tyrell Williams dropped the out route, then would have gotten them to around the ten yard line. Rari broke up the next pass to Williams, ending the drive. So I told y'all, man, this this shit. I don't like predicting seasons, but the the, the stupid shit that they did, bro, this year, man. With the quarterback, with taking on Jared Goff, man, was was just the stupidest move that you can make. I did not understand. I did not understand the the thinking about taking Jared Goff when you got these picks. When you when you got these picks, right? And you could have drafted the quarterback. You could have drafted Justin, Justin Fields. You could have, you know what? You could have got another veteran quarterback to come in. And, and you could have waited for next year's class, but like I said before, they they like uh they like Jerry Goff, but we all know he couldn't play. If he couldn't play with Sean McVay out in LA, one of the top defenses and some good offensive players, what was the chances he's gonna come to Detroit and light it up? Thirty twenty six or thirty six, you know, all we doing is waiting to see what the next quarterback is for the Detroit Lions. People say just give him a chance, just give him a chance, man. We ain't got no choice but to give him a chance. But we got to we got to state the obvious, and the obvious is this team is gonna struggle, and it's a significant drop off. You know, it's a significant drop off. 
from last year. We get to Stafford later though in another video. But it's a, it's a significant drop off. You know, and unfortunately, bro, we going to find out this year. I, I, I have a hard press to see them winning some games. And then the defensive line, I know they didn't have probably Brockers on last Saturday or for Friday. And they didn't have Aleem. I mean, not Aleem, but uh, Levi and Azorka. Hey, they didn't have those guys, but shit, still. But still, man. It's like, man, they look like shit. And just because the defense is doing good versus Jerry Goff don't mean they're going to go out there and do good versus uh, versus uh, other defenses, man, because it's like bums practicing against bums. Hate to say it like that, but that's what it is. You know, that's what it is, but, you know, it's, to me it feels, it smells, <laughs> it smells, it smells like a tough, another tough fucking year. And just didn't understand the 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 the, the thought around picking Jerry Goff. Now, if they say we give you an extra first round pick for Jerry Goff, if that was the for the situation, then cool, I, I get it. We will figure out to do it in later, but no, don't nobody want Jerry Goff. I think Fitzpatrick is more in demand than Jerry Goff. And then you didn't put nobody around Jerry Goff to help him. But one thing you did do, you give him, you did give him a better offensive line, but. You gotta put. They gotta play. They gotta gel together on the offensive line. And right now, that's something that they not. They not. You know, if he don't play them next uh, Saturday, something they not able to do. They got these. All these motherfuckers should be playing Saturday into the second, into the third quarter. They do not look like a team that's in sync. You know, but unable to practice with Terrell Crosby, John Panisi undisclosed. Crosby got a hamstring. Deshaun Hand undisclosed. Considered not serious. Corn Elder. Uh, he he was uh, unable on David Bloggs' shoulder. Limited was Hawkinson and Michael Brockner's. Brockner's been on veteran treatment the whole camp. Should have just sent his ass home. Come back when the season started. Return to practice, Swift with a groin. Diedrich with Mills, the running back, undisclosed. Brock, Brock Wright, tight end, undisclosed. D-tackle, Miles Brown, undisclosed. Tim Boyle, ankle. Jordan Tomuya, whatever his name, quarterback, he has new. Damian Riley, undisclosed. Injured during practice, Nick Williams. Williams returned Thursday from COVID-19 and immediately was placed back into the start. Unfortunately for him, on an early ref, he could he appeared to tangle up with someone and spend some extra time on the ground. He got up favoring his leg later, but he put the helmet he put on the helmet seemingly wanted to get back in, but the coaching staff held him out for the rest of the practice. Um So, um that's it. He said Derrick Barnes learning from the best. I mean, Ragnar gonna go play Saturday, so they can't they can't build that camaraderie, bro. This this gonna be. I put it to you this way. I don't. I, I expect that Dan Campbell might be fired at the end of the season. Um. So how do Lions get better if they don't play together? Like I said before, it might be a long, 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 long season for the Lions, man. It's a tough schedule for the team that finished last each year. It's the team to have tough schedules, but. Like I said, they did get Jerry Goff an offensive line, but we knew we was getting each other, getting ourselves up with Jerry Goff. And if Justin Fields light it up, that's all you're gonna hear about once again. But um, but yeah, you still gotta wait and pro to see. You're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days, but we open all those up against the 49ers. That's a tough, tough team. But Jerry Goff did look good on Friday in limited action, but he should be playing into the third quarter this this third game. But I mean uh but, I mean, it's up to them, you know. But if he go out there and drag off Lakers clavicle, he break his clavicle, uh, people going to get mad. People are going to get mad. They say, oh, he got injured. So, he preventing injury. That's what he's doing about sitting these guys. So, But not having joint practices and practices against each other, I mean, that's not going to, for per se, going to move shit forward. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, let me know what you guys think about the situation about Jared Goff. I do not practice it. Um, not playing this Saturday versus Steelers. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all my social media links, description, Twitter's the fast way, and Facebook and Instagram. You can reach out anytime on advertising channel, video request, shop it up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link there as well too. Appreciate the financial donations. Other than that, uh, thumbs up, share, subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to help. Let me know what you guys think. Check Detroit Lions. So I played this in the Herbert Sanders. Got COVID. No symptoms, but uh, 
Hopefully you bear and stay healthy. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.